How to read and write social studies. Social studies, middle grade 2. 3. Politics and civil uh, participation. 1. Social life and conflict of interest. In our society, there are many conditions where the interest between individual and group conflict. In the year 2005, the South Korea government announced that government organizations, which are mainly located in Seoul, will be, government organizations will be decentralized and move to different regions. The people of the upper class in the capital region and the head of the local self government in this area were opposed to the plan. They were worried that the value of their real estate in the capital region would fall. In contrast, local residents of the other regions welcomed this plan as a whole. This illustrates politics as a process of mediating different interests and bringing about a resolution. 2. Participation of a political process. A certain way people can participate in politics is to vote. People vote in order to decide policy or elect their representatives. Individual citizens may also run for office to participate directly in the political process. They can also write their opinion in the media to influence public opinion. In some cases, they occasionally draw the interests of the public with such things as holding assemblies or demonstrations. Individual or temporary action do not put post strong influence on the political process. Accordingly, people establish permanent organization and operate to them. Example of this are the interest group representing specific professional and political parties. In addition, there are groups that operate for the benefit of the whole society rather than their own interest. These are called non-governmental organization NGO or non-profit organization MPO. Special term NGO and MPO. A non-governmental organization NGO is created by private organization or individual is no participation or representation by any government that may include the interest groups. A non-profit Organization, NPO is an organization whose objective is to engage in activity of public or private interest without any commercial profit. NPOs are active in the environment, education and art, social issues, and so on. 4. Issues in South Korea's democratic government. In the past, democracy in South Korea suffered for a long time under dictatorial regimes in order to create a true democratic government in Korea. We need to correct what has damaged and oppressed the people's needs and desires. The task are as follows. First, people's right, which has been undermined for reasons of economic growth and state security, need to be protected. Second, we need to eliminate discrimination of people according to their place of birth and educational background. Third, the insiders who become whistleblowers need to be protected in order to stop abuse of power. Fourth, we need to reduce the economic gap between regions and classes and increase welfare services for the weak in order to develop economic, democracy, or equality. Fifth, we need to find a solution to the lack of political interest among the people and encourage them to participate in the political process. Democratic citizenship and economic life. One, regional solution to economic problems. Economy and economic problems. Economy refers to all activities that deal with the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. 
It also includes the relationship that form through such activities. For example, the systems of a company and the relationship between merchants and consumers are part of the economy. When there is a gap between the volume of the goods that people need and the volume that can be supplied, economic problem occur. When the supply of some goods does not cough with the demand, the price will rise. This occurs first um, for more, first and foremost, because of the shortage of the resource of making products. Even when certain regions have resources, they they may not have the capital to develop these resources. On the other hand, economic problem can also occur when the demand is less than the supply and the produced goods cannot be sold. The, they spoil in storage and the economic circulation of production, distribution, consumption, capital accumulation, reproduction becomes blocked. 2. Economic choices, minimum cost and maximum impact. In our lives, you often need to make a choice. This is also true in economic matters. You need to choose between buying this or that, either a fixed amount of money. We may also need to choose whether to plant potatoes or beans in a limited area of a field. In this situation, what you choose has to have some advantage over what you give up. The value of what you give up is called opportunity cost. In other words, the opportunity cost is what you could get if we pursued it. In order that our choice be considered a national economic choice, the profit and convenience from what you choose should be greater than the opportunity cost. And the value of what you choose is less than of that of what we give up. As you said, the delusion advantage. Generally, you choose between more than two possibilities. In real situation, it's rational to think precisely about the convenience and profit we need. Then we choose the ones with greater opportunity cost. In other words, the ones that give more convenience profit than the others. The choice of what is the most valuable with the smallest amount of money and cost is known as the principle of minimum cost and maximum profit. Process of change in the economic system. Differentiation of social class and the appearance of the market economy. Human history is in a sense history of economies. This is because economics is the most fundamental aspect of human life. During most of the Stone Age, human beings formed groups and overcame survival problems by hunting and gathering food together. In the process, people realized that they could increase productivity if they assigned workers a different role rather than just simply cooperating. This is called the division of labor. Afterward, in the new Stone Age, when agricultural and settlement began, the division of labor became more developed. The division did not stop simply with assigning rules in the labor process. As the technology for storing harvest crop developed, society became divided into class of rich people who had accumulated wealth and poor people who had not. This further advanced the social division of labor. In other words, the rich class obtained power to rule society and engaged in military, religious, and artistic matters. <clears throat> On the other hand, most of the poor class became subjected to them and physically labored in such areas as agriculture. As production increased and jobs diversified, in check exchange of goods increased within a social group or between group. At first, goods were exchanged in a barter system, but soon currency appeared as a mean of exchange. Through currency, people could trade more easily and were able to accumulate even more wealth. This was because keeping money exchangeable 